Welcome back to another LC analysis. Um, I just want to let you guys know uh, that the videos I will be making for the LC analysis series are targeted to people who are rather new to LC or don't really have an idea of some main threats in LC. So that's why I'm making this series. The series is not targeted to those who are more experienced in the tier. I just want to let you guys know that before we get into the video. Well, besides that, I wanted to talk about Carvana today. So, Carvana has a very distinct role in the LC tier as being the only speed boosting mod that is able to really be an effective late game sweeper. So, Carvana carries two main sets, the special set and the physical set. And the reason that Carvana is such a good late game sweeper is because of its ability. Now, because of its ability, every single turn it raises its speed stage by one. So it starts off at, usually because it runs either adamant or modest nature, it starts off at 16 speed and after one turn it reaches uh, 24 speed, which is going to be able to outspeed the entire unboosted meta. So at plus two, you're going to outspeed the entire even boosted meta. So that's something really important to note when it comes to Carvana and its boosting nature. So before I get into the, the um, real in-depth moveset explanations, I want to talk about its item. Now, the life orb is incredibly crucial. I feel um, that it's a very crucial item that Carvana absolutely needs to carry because every other item that Carvana carries makes it so that it can only get rid of one mod maximum. For example, there is a Psychium Z set that Carvana used, or not used to run, but ran, I, I saw it a couple of times in tournament replays. It is able to Oko Mianfu, however the problem is after it Okos Mianfu, it no longer has that kind of strong punch that it needs to be able to sweep the rest of your opposing teams. So that's why basically Carvana runs Life Orb. And I'll now start getting into the movesets and uh, EV spreads and so on and so forth. So basically, um, this is the Carvana special, the uh, Carvana special, but the special attacking Carvana late game sweeper. So Carvana running protect, uh, I'll start off with protect because Carvana with protect is probably the most important thing right now. Um, protect is going to basically guarantee you to get that speed boost on the turn it comes in. For example, uh, something that you're going to see very often is with Ghastly, for example. Um, Ghastly is going to be sitting at 18 speed and you'll be coming in at 16 speed and you will not be able to basically pick off the Ghastly so you need to click protect in order to in order for you to be at plus one speed. That way you're going to be able to outspeed the Ghastly. So the, the reason we run protect is to get that free speed boost and then we will be able to outspeed everything that it's in front of us. Now, going on to these three moves right here, Hydro Pump is the strongest move that Carvana has, and it's also Stab. So, it's basically, all, although it has 80% accuracy and it's kind of unreliable at sometimes, Hydro Pump is basically a given for every single Carvana set, or every special Carvana set, because it just packs such a great punch and it's a Stab move. The next thing we learn, oh, uh, not learn, but uh, run is also Dark Pulse. Again, it's another stab move, and it's the strongest dark type that dark type move that Carvana is uh, given access to. So we have to run Dark Pulse. Now, the now Ice Beam is sort of um, how do I say? It? It's like it, it's it's a filler move. However, there are other things you can run. I have seen people run Scald before in order to decrease the um, or increase the accuracy. Although you're subbing out a lot of a lot of the basically how do I put it? the the power that you get into the move so that's why people run scald i've also seen people run things like destiny bond now destiny bond will basically you use destiny bond and then you're able to revenge whatever's in front of you not revenge but basically get rid of something that's in front of you uh, something i've seen this especially with is on a fighting spam team carvana will run destiny bond that way when the spritzy Spritzy uses Moonblast on the Carvana, it's able to pick off the Spritzy, and that way the opposing team is um, a lot more susceptible to the fighting spam. It's something That's something really um, important to know. Now moving on to the physical Carvana set, 
I wanted to, uh, again, it's very similar in the sense that you have to run Protect and Life Orb because those are basically undeniable. Now, these three moves right here, I feel cannot be subbed out at all. Crunch and Waterfall are basically the two givens because they're the strongest stab that Carvana has access to. And the reason we run those is just because it's it's going to be able to nuke things later on in the game, which is going to be able to do a lot of damage. Now the reason I, uh, we run Psychic Fang uh, over things like over Double Edge and Ice Fang and what uh, whatever it is, the reason we run Psychic Fangs is because it is going to be able to do a lot of damage to the top tier threats in the tier. For example. After Mianfu and Fungus are knocked off, Psychic Fangs will be able to Oko each of the mods regardless of their spread, at, if you're running Adamant Nature, that is. Now, Psychic Fangs um, is also going to be able to hit other other, uh, other, other fighting types, although you wouldn't, it wouldn't be ideal for you to use Psychic Fangs. They, they allow for good mid-ground plays. Um, it also is going to be able to hit other fighting types, for example, Timber even though it has access to Mach Punch. Now, the reason Carvana is so quote-unquote low in the viability rankings uh, and it's A- minus is because it's very similar to Abra in the sense that it's, it's incredibly frail. Carvana has pretty awful defenses. Like, it, even for LC Standard, 20 and 20 are pretty awful and its HP set isn't that impressive either. So, Carvana doesn't have the, the basic survivability that you would see in um, every other LC and LC mod. And in addition, it doesn't carry a violet, so it's even weaker. So the things like priority from Mach Punch, it's going to be able to go down um, in one shot from Timber. So that's why it's, it's a minus, because there's so much fighting spam uh, going on as of late. And Volibee is so broken right now that you it's it's incredibly weak and it's incredibly hard to chip away and that's 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 the reason that carvana is not going to be able to climb the viability rankings right now so the other um in, in addition to all of this um stuff about carvana there are a lot of things that you have to watch out for when you're using this when you're using this mod especially with things such as volibee and ponder volibee and ponder are going to be probably the two best checks in addition to Spritzy. Spritzy, Velvet, and Pinerd are the things that you're going to want to be keeping healthy when you're dealing with Carvana. I've also seen Tirtuga run as a Carvana check. However, um, when when your opponent has those mods, the goal should be to get rocks up, knock off of Violates, uh, cripple anything, and basically pressure everything that your opponent has in order for you to uh, get that late game sweep with Carvana. So um, I also wanted to explain the EVs. So I, I guess you can uh, you can understand that we run mod, uh, modest for the special Carvana since it just hits the hardest, and you don't really need 17 speed over mod, uh, over 16 speed because at plus one you're going to be outspeeding everything anyways. And then uh, same thing on the physical because you're running uh, max max for the adamant um, adamant nature and then max speed and uh, the one thing I wanted to go over is the IVs right here everything here oops everything here is gonna make sense however the one thing that's not noted is the HP now the reason I like to run 9 HP IVs instead of 31 if you if you run 31 IVs you get to 21 HP but if you run 9 IVs you get to 19 HP and the reason I do this is because at 19 HP uh, since uh, showdown rounds down 10% uh, of the life orb damage will be 1.9 and since showdown runs uh, rounds down from 1.9 you'll be taking 1 HP from life or recoil rather than two so theoretically you can get 19 shots in with um, 19 HP but with 31 you're gonna only be able to get 11 11 hits in with um, this HP investment so it's basically the rundown for Carvana now I wanted to show you an LCPL game between uh, Robulator I believe that's how it's pronounced and Lycans now if you just look at the game plan right here um, it, it's basically knock off this knock off this Mianfu Knock off this Mariani, or assuming assuming we're um, physical. Knock off this Mianfu. Knock off the Mariani. Try to get rid of the. Uh, try to get rocks up and get rid of this Berry Deuce right here, and then you can knock off uh, Snivy, and then you should be able to win the game. It's the, that's the best thing about 
having Carvana because your game plan at the very beginning is going to be so simple. So, you're like you just go. I'm not gonna again go through the entire game, but right here from turn from turn two, we see that Smianfu is not a violate. So we have one part of the game plan already done, and we learned that this Onyx. Oops, sorry. Let me go back. We learned that the Onyx is weak armor, so that's fine. It's not berry juice, which makes it easier for Carvana to sweep later in the game. And we're gonna. Um, he's gonna go into Mianfu, uh, knock off his timber, but then he makes a good, a uh, good read right here, um, predicting Robbie later to switch out because he's a mock, a mock punch range. And he's gonna go to Mariani. And now, now that we have, now that like has the Mariani knocked off, we again we're even closer to the game plan. So, um, uh, Lycans makes a good play and hits the Slime with an Ice Beam. So again, we're even closer. The only thing we have to do right now is get rid of that Vullaby, and then we should be good to go. So right there, Lycan gets up. Lycans gets up his rocks, and from there, it's gonna be just pretty smooth sailing um, until this Mariani reveals. Or I'll go into later, but uh, like it's gonna volt switch on the Magnemite, and he's gonna bring in his Carvana. Um, Carvana is gonna go for the Protect because that could have been Scarfed, and you're gonna it's gonna go for Psychic Fingers right here. Now Robbie later makes good play, goes into Onyx to get that weak armor boost, and then he's gonna switch out into his Vullaby. Um, right here, he's gonna sack his Timber. That's gonna be able to activate his Berry Juice. And what the berry juice activation does is it means that he'll no longer be able to have any sort of recovery. So every single time it comes into rocks, you're just going to be getting more and more chip. So he's going to go here. He's going to go into Mariani, which does not matter. He's going to go for iron defense, and that's going to be a problem. So Ligans need some sort of way to phase out this Mariani, or else it can be provide to be an issue later on, especially since Chin Chow is going to have only one more switch in. And he goes to Chin Chow, he clicks Skull, doesn't get the burn, unfortunately. And, um... Like it's gonna defog away the rocks, so he's gonna let the Chin Chow come back in. And he's going to get up rocks with his Ponyard again. His, his Ponyard's gonna die to the burn, or not die to the burn, but he's gonna go straight into Chin Chow. He's gonna be able to get rid of the Snivy. And this Mariana's gonna come in, and he's gonna go hard Caravana. Now, going hard Caravana means that he's going to basically phase out the Mariani because that's a 50, 59%. And even though it's at plus two, it is going to uh, drop to the Psychic Fangs. And now, uh, Rivalator makes a good play and uh, goes hard into Onyx. However, the thing with Carvana is it's going to be able to get the double protect, and that's going to allow it to outspeed the Onyx. And then he proceeds to get the flinch on Vullaby with his, with his Waterfall. And as you can see from there, the game for Carvana is a lot, a lot um, easier and then everything is just going to flow back quickly he's going to be able to pick off everything one by one so that's just a quick rundown about how carvana actually works in the lc tier and why it provides to be such a late game threat if you're not playing your cards correctly like for example um Rivulator should not have um sex or let snivy take that much damage from chin chow even if he had the later game plan of synthesis and then stalling, or not stalling, but basically getting up your synthesis and making sure that you're in healthy range for Carvana. He should not have done that. Um, and he also had so much pressure on Mariani, or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but um, he had so much pressure on Mariani that he had to eventually get let it get knocked off. And because of that, Carvana is gonna, uh, was able to come in and just do the late game sweeping. So a lot of times, super hyper offensive teams like what I'd consider Rivalator's team is going to be able to is, is super weak to Carvana because it doesn't have the speed control to outspeed this um, late game boosting threat. So yeah, that's, that's just a quick rundown on Carvana and um, just uh, how you use in the LC metagame. So uh, I will be with you guys on the next episode of the LC analysis and see you guys later. Peace.